One of the questions that I frequently get here on Death by Bungie is how much kinetic energy do I need to hunt blank, to hunt moose, to hunt grizzly bears, black bears, to hunt white-tailed deer, to hunt wild hogs? How much kinetic energy do I need to hunt each of those animals or any animal in particular? I've wondered about that myself from time to time too because what if someday I want to go up to Canada and hunt black bears? with Bungie. Is Bungie going to be enough at a 305 feet per second crossbow now dropping down closer to 280 feet per second with all the sound quieting system stuff installed? Is that going to be enough? Is it going to produce enough kinetic energy to hunt black bears, for example? I've also talked to somebody recently about hunting moose. Is it possible to get Bungie in shape to hunt moose? Now, to calculate kinetic energy, there is a mathematical formula that we could use. I'll put that on the screen here. That is something we can go through and calculate, but you have to take your arrow speed and square that. In other words, multiply your arrow speed times your arrow speed, and then multiply that by your arrow weight, and then you divide that by 450,240. Yeah, don't do that. Just go to the arrow ballistics calculator on bestcrossbowsource.com or some other website. That arrow ballistics calculator is extremely helpful in calculating certain things about your arrow's performance and about your crossbow's performance. You need accurate information to enter into that website to get accurate calculations. But once you do that, it saves you all of that mathematics. If you enter all of your data into that website and the information comes out wrong, it's because you entered the wrong data. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. If you don't put in the right data, you're not going to get the right answers. On the other hand, if you properly enter all of that information and you put in the correct information, you're going to get accurate calculations. It's going to be accurate for all crossbows. It's going to be accurate for your crossbow if you put in the proper information. Now, once we make those calculations, once we get that information, once we find out our amount of kinetic energy on that website or on a different website, what do we do with that information? How do we know if that's enough to hunt a certain species of animal? Well, I did a lot of looking around on the internet, and you can do the same thing, of course. Go to Google and look and type up kinetic energy and black bear or something like that. You'll get a lot of different sources. And I was able to come up with some consistency among all those websites for small game, like squirrels, rabbits, and other small game. If you're hunting something like that, then 25 foot-pounds of kinetic energy is going to be enough. Now, if you're moving up to pronghorn, you're moving up to deer, you're going to need more than 25 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. We're going to be looking at something 25, 30, 40. You're going to need at least 25 foot-pounds of kinetic energy in order to successfully and cleanly kill white-tailed deer, pronghorn, antelope, things like that. I've also hunted wild boar with Bungie on two occasions. My daughter and I were successful and we killed wild hogs that were in excess of 200 pounds, somewhere around the 200 pound mark at least. And 40 pounds, 40 foot pounds of kinetic energy is going to be sufficient to kill wild hogs. When you're moving up to, and this is what I thought was kind of interesting, if I ever move up to elk, black bear, a minimum of 40 foot pounds of kinetic energy is going to do the job. And that was very interesting for me to find out. Those are species that I do intend to hunt somewhere down the road here. And most crossbows will perform at a minimum of 40 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. So basically, most crossbows, it looks like, are sufficient for elk and black bear, and then the species below them in terms of size, the white-tailed deer, the pronghorn, antelope, and any small game species. The other thing that was interesting about all of this is that I found out that I can, in fact, hunt moose with this crossbow setup that I currently have. I probably could get the job done without going out and investing in a different crossbow. I can actually reach that 65 foot-pounds of energy threshold with this crossbow setup. Now, I may have to worry about brace height. I might have to tweak a little bit here with the lower arrow weight. Might have to take off all of that sound deadening equipment so that it goes back up in speed, gain that 20 feet per second back but I can get the job done. The other important takeaway from this, and I want you to go and sort of keep this in mind when you're talking about kinetic energy and when you're considering whether your crossbow setup will be successful in the field for a particular species. This, I think, is very important. And I've talked about long shots before, and I've preached against the long shots before. I still don't think long shots are part of crossbow hunting. But kinetic energy is going to decrease over distance. That's a fact. It's a fact for every crossbow. It's a fact for every setup, no matter what you do. It's just physics. It's just math. It's just the way it is. When you decrease that kinetic energy, when you increase your yardage, 
There comes a point with every crossbow, I believe, where you're probably not going to have enough kinetic energy to take care of the animal that you are hunting. For me, even at peak performance on this crossbow at 305 feet per second, we're still going to have a little bit of trouble if we go out too far in terms of yardage. With white-tailed deer, not a problem. With this crossbow, even out to 70 yards, I have enough kinetic energy, according to that chart, to kill a white-tailed deer. So I don't have to worry about that at all. I'll never be killing white-tailed deer at 70 yards with a crossbow. But I can still get the job done. I don't have to worry about kinetic energy being too low for me to get the job done. Also, if I do hunt moose with this, and I take off all the sound deadening equipment and go back up to the 300, 305 feet per second area, that range, and if I get that speed back up to that range, it will get the job done, but only out to about 40 yards. Past 40 yards, I start to lose enough kinetic energy to where it would not be over that 65 foot-pounds of kinetic energy threshold that I would need to take down a moose. So, you got to take into account distance as well. In the end, distance makes a difference in terms of the energy that you're going to get. Remember, your arrow speed drops over distance. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've gotten some information out of it. I hope it answers any questions you might have about kinetic energy as it applies to crossbow hunting and different game species. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, all hail Bungie! <laughs>